Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakai Kodash. A double honor to our apostles and elders that great millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, salutation, mercy be unto the hope for the light. And back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ratazai. It is lesson is edifying. You know, you've been seeing uh, this video concerning, you know, the Rockefellers, you know, uh, circulating around the Brotherhood. You know, brothers have been uploading that joint, you know, or re-uploading it or doing lessons on it. You know, that they've been motivated to do through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. But it's videos like that that helps you to have an illusion, you know, or Salakia, not an illusion. I didn't mean to say that. An illustration of why we say that the so-called white man is the devil. You know? And if he if he's not Esau Edom, then I don't know who is. Alright, because who's more wicked than him? Hey, the scriptures say within Job 9 and 24 that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Alright, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And who has the earth within their grasp at this moment? And how did they get the earth? All right, what were the things that they did to accumulate all of the swaths of land that they have? You know, all of the large, you know, land, you know, all of the fatness of the earth, all right, the oil, all right, the petroleum, in which they're using to make certain chemicals to put inside of your body as medicine. All right, and have went through the great limbs of making holistics and herbs seem as if they're not scientifically proven to be able to help you just so that they can make an abundance of money off of shooting you up with chemicals, all right, toxins, poisons that are proven, that are proven to kill you. All right, the medicine comes out of the earth, man. As it states right here. This is the book of, and bear with me, Baba Kasha. Sirach 38 and 4. Yahweh will have created medicine out of the earth, and he that is wild would not abhor them. All right, so that shows you that Esau Edom is not wise. All right, and as a brother mentioned within this video, I don't remember exactly who it was. All right, he abhors them and uh, uh, because he, he's not full of wisdom. And the scriptures tell you that he cast the word of Yahweh behind his back, man. The spirit that is working within Esau Edom is the same spirit that worked within the seed of Cain. All right, because spirits, contrary to what you have learned through Christianity, all right, through Catholicism, all right, spirits are not stuck in purgatory, all right, where they're just there, you know, waiting, you know, to be transferred from the purgatory into the lake of fire, <laughs> all right? Spirits are reincarnated, and it's right here within the flesh that you receive your judgments and that you're going to receive your judgments from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, there's a scripture within the book of 2nd Ezra, the 14th chapter, and somewhere within the 14th chapter that mentions this. Salaki, bear with me, Baba Kasha. As I as I look for it. Here it is. This is uh, 2 Ezra 14 and 34. It says, And therefore, if so be that thou will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive after death, ye shall obtain mercy. So as you can see, it says, after death, you shall obtain mercy. All right? 
It says, for after death shall the judgment come. All right. When we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and the, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So we live again. All right. We don't just, after we die, just disappear. You know? All right. You have a soul. You have a spirit inside of you. And that spirit, that soul that is inside of you, it comes from the Most High Heavenly Father, and that's where it returns to. All right, according to Ecclesiastes, all right, the 12th chapter, all right, it returns back to the Most High Heavenly Father who gave it. So these spirits are sent back into the earth. So the spirit of the seed of Cain and Cain himself have been sent back into the earth, and they are ruling over the world as if now, through the seed of this of the self-proclaimed white man, which is biblically known as the Edomites. And the same wickedness that they did are right, within the old, old world, which brought upon that flood, are right, whether it was rape, rapine, our right, pillaging, all right, uh, uh, forming instruments of war, warring. Not keeping marriage, not honorable, uh, honoring marriage. They're doing it ten times more during this age. All right, they have become more wicked than what they were before. And also going to the book of Second Ezra, the third chapter. This time, and let me go up. Because this age is more wicked than the age that preceded, all right? Reading 2nd Ezra, the third chapter, in verse 11, it says, Nevertheless, matter of fact, uh, hold on just one second, Baba Kasha. Got a, got a centurion riding on the side of me, you know? Let him do his thing. And it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply, all right? And had children and were great and were a great people. They began again to be more ungodly than the first. <laughs> so the people of this age, man, are more ungodly than the than the age that put, you know, before the flood. And why is that so? All right? Because Esau Edom is ruling over. All right, you got the so-called white man, which is the epitome of wickedness that is ruling over. And it tells you within the book of uh, Psalms, let me get that. I want to say that Psalms, the 11th chapter. Nope, let's go over to 12. Psalms 12 and 8. It says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And who are the vilest men? All right, the vilest man is Esau Edom. It tells you in the book of Job that they were violent in the earth. All right, they were pushed away. They were driven forth from among men. They were driven into those caves and in those rocks of the earth. And that's what they dwelt. And when they came out of there, they went into different parts of the, of, of the world. They migrated. You know, some went into Macedonia. All right, some went back down into, um, into the land of Edom. All right, they went into different places. And when they came out of that place, they came out very wickedly, man. And thus, when they assumed power, all right, during the time of the Greeks, all right, which actually power was given unto them to rule over. It was the Most High Heavenly Father that put a spirit inside of them and allowed them to, all right, gain control. So they didn't assume power. But when that happened, all right, as it states within the book of Maccabees, it says that wickedness was had, had grown. 
All right, that wickedness had grown. Why? Because these are the vilest that have been allowed to come into power. It's the Most High Heavenly Father that sets individuals up. And it's the Most High Heavenly Father that will take them down. According to the book of Daniel, the fourth chapter, verse 17. All right, it says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones. All right, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever all right, he will and setteth over the basis of men. Because that word vow also goes into base. So we have base individuals that are ruling over. And the only thing that they know is wickedness. That's the reason why they're constantly at war. That's the reason why they're constantly invading all right, and fighting and stealing people's land. That's the reason why they have used their weapons, all right, and have broken in pieces the nations. Ultimately, it's the most family father that allowed them to get into power and to do what they're doing in the earth. And he's gonna be the one that take them down through his son, Yahweh Shai. But you see, and you have an illustration now, or you have something to go off, a point of reference, because we've been saying it, but these hidden things are being sought up of Esau Edom, who has that spirit of Cain inside of him. And as wickedness had grown during that time that Cain and his seed was upon the earth, all right, they defiled the planet earth during that time so, so much, in so much that the Most High Heavenly Father had to flood the world in order to get rid of men because it grieved him to see those things. So it grieves the Most High Heavenly Father now to see Esau eat him in power and the things that they're doing in the earth. The book of Genesis, the sixth chapter. And verse six, it says, And it repented Yahweh that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Jumping down to verse, verse uh, 11, it said, the earth also was corrupted before Yahweh, and the earth was filled with violence. So who have filled the earth with violence? All right, when it comes down to wickedness, this man has left no stone unturned. All right, he have figured out every way to be wicked, man. And here it is, all of these lives that have been destroyed and killed just for the sake of this man becoming rich all right, through his medical practices. All right, all of the lives that have been lost and the people that have been killed all for the sake of this man are right, greed and him not being full. Here it is, you have the whole earth in your, in your hands, man, in your possession. All right, you have all of the gold, all of the silver, you have everything and instead of being happy, and living it up, and you're still trying to figure out a way to get more control over the earth, man. And that's the reason be, uh, the reason behind that you have a God complex. Or you believe that you're the Most High. But the Most High Heavenly Father is gonna show you who's truly the power. The true power is Yahweh. And Yahweh looked upon the earth, and behold, all right, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. So this earth is corrupted under the man of sin. Therefore, the man of sin has to be taken out of the way, or he has to be destroyed. And that's the reason why you got scriptures written like Obadiah 1 and 18. All right, this man truly has to be destroyed. Until he's destroyed, the earth will not have any peace. Until he's destroyed, the children of Israel will not have any rest. Until he's destroyed, all right, lands will not be able to enjoy their Sabbaths. All right, trees won't be able to grow the way that, they, that they, they're supposed to grow. All right, animals won't be able to live in peace, all right, the way that they all right, need to live in peace, man. All right, the, 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 the waters are defiled, the air is defiled, everything is polluted under the, the self-proclaimed white man. 
Everything is mourning. The whole earth is mourning because of you, man. Because of you, dog. And here it is, you wanna play as if you're ignorant or oblivious to the things that you are doing. That's the reason why it says within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and going down to verse six, it says, he who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is perse uh, persecuted and none hindereth. Nobody's gonna step in to intervene when you're getting jacked up. All right, when well, thermonuclear destruction is coming down upon you. All right, when, when the judgments in the place of Yahweh by Shemi Awashai are falling upon you. Because they're tired of you. Even the other nations are tired of you. That's the reason why it says what it says within Romans the 8th chapter. That the creature waiteth are for the manifestation of the sons of the living power. They want us to receive our change. They want us to receive spiritual powers and the new bodies. And to govern this earth and to rule over it. Because when we rule over, it's going to be the complete opposite of what you're doing. And everything is going to be in harmony, man. And so much to a lion will lay down with the lamb. According as the scripture have said. Because under you, there's, there's constant war. There's no peace, man. Reading on, it says the whole earth is at rest. And it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice. At thee in the cedars of Lebanon saying since thou art fallen all right, Since thou art laid down no fella has come up against us All right, because you're constantly wasting lands You're constantly destroying and, and cutting down trees All right, this world does not have any peace under you man This world doesn't have any peace under you my nigga All right, cuz you're the real nigga Esau Wisdom of Solomon the 10th chapter and the third verse and when the unrighteous went away from her in his anger he perished also in the fury wherewith he murdered his brother for whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood wisdom again preserved it and directed the course of the righteous in a piece of wood of small value and during this time the righteous of this age is going to be directed in, in, in what the world knows as, as spaceships they're going to be delivered and taken away from there. All right, because they have pleased the Most High Heavenly Father. So they're going to be translated like Enoch. They're going to receive new bodies. All right, and they're going to look down from heaven upon him who smote them <clears throat> with the continual stroke. All right, and for whose cause are the earth, just like leaven, leaven if a whole lump, has filled the, the, the earth with wickedness. All right, and it's so much to the point where the Most High Heavenly Father is not going to destroy this place by way of water anymore, but he's going to destroy this place by way of thermonuclear destruction, as well as the chariots. So this is 2 Peter, the third chapter, and the 10th verse. It says, But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with the, with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness are right, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Esau has devoured this one, so it has to be burned up. It has to be destroyed. Jumping down to verse 18 in Salakia. Verse 17, it says, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest also being led away with with the error of the wicked all right fall from your own steadfastness so don't follow the ways of esau edom because those that follow the way of esau edom all right who reincarnated was uh, um who was re reincarnated him and his bloodline from the seed of cain all right have filled the earth with violence and wickedness 
All right, and are ruling over as the rich elite banking families. All right, they're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Well, their lands, but the rich elites are going to go into slavery. So, with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. Hey, this man of sin is getting ready to be destroyed and taken out of the way, man. All right, those of his nation, all right, his lands are going to be burnt with fire. You know, they themselves are going to know that that day is coming, so they have bunkers prepared to go and hide in. And after many days of being in those bunkers, they're going to be visited, and they're going to be taken out, and they're going to go into slavery. And the earth is going to enjoy her peace, man. All right, under the reign of the uh, of of um, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the 144,000, man, the elect. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, Shalom.